get you caught up with where the county stands right now. To date, there have been more than 1,000 residents who have tested positive. 19 unfortunately have died. And Channel 9 government reporter Joe Bruno has been closely following the local response. And Joe, I understand that you just obtained a letter this afternoon saying that Charlotte will not need that field hospital to handle a surge of cases. And Damani, the good news is the field hospital that Atrium and Novant were originally expecting to be needed here at the Charlotte Convention Center is no longer needed. I was the first to break this news this afternoon on Twitter. I obtained this letter sent to the county manager, Dina DiOrio, saying the stay at home policies are working. It reads in part, we are seeing a flattening of the curve, resulting in a continued decline in peak hospital census projections. Instead of positive cases doubling every 2.85 days as they were previously, the current trajectory is showing positive cases now doubling every six days. The letter warns if social distancing is eased prematurely without supporting data, this trend could reverse. If that happens, Atrium and Novant say the Charlotte Convention Center would be a good option for a mass care site. Congressman and Dr. Greg Murphy says Mecklenburg County residents should be encouraged by the letter. We're learning from data. We're learning from a real-time experience. We're not, uh, you know, running around that the, the, the sky is falling and that we're able to plan appropriately um, and do things in real time. If needed, Atrium and Novant say they have created additional capacity in their hospital systems to accommodate an extra 600 beds. Damani. Well, that is good that they will have that room to accommodate patients if needed. Joe Bruno reporting live for us tonight. And